Over several months, Cedar Falls residents, community leaders, students, and staff have been engaged in exploring the future of education at Cedar Falls High School. Meeting with over a thousand people in a hundred plus meetings, the goals for this future are coming into focus. Goals for the new high school design include understanding that the world is changing and the spaces for teaching and learning need to respond to these changes. Developing a set of spaces that maximize use of this important Cedar Valley resource. Recognize that learning is about absorbing information in the traditional sense, but also creating space that allows for the application and testing of that knowledge is critical. Providing a diversity of spaces, highlighting the important spaces between classrooms that simply don't exist at all today. Breakdown spaces into smaller, more intimate learning communities. To be a regional leader in our approach to common sense sustainability. Provide flexible and adaptable spaces that can change to meet future demands. Create safe environments for students through controlled entrances, technology, building, compartmentalization, and storm shelters. Put learning on display connecting a diverse set of spaces and meet the needs of all students supporting the goal of every student every day. The school is approximately 30% through the design process and will continue to test initial assumptions against cost, systems, structure, and the multitude of details needed prior to bidding late this year. Moving forward, the planning team will continue to meet with community members, students, and staff to evolve the design based upon feedback. From an exterior design standpoint, the team focused on form, proportion, and materiality. It was quickly understood through the discovery process that the use of natural materials was an important driver for the district. Initial proposed materials needed to be durable to abuse, cost-effective, and provide a long-lasting, low-maintenance solution. It was also clear to the team that the main entry of the new high school needed to be impactful and convey a connectedness to the broader community. Through a collaborative effort with the district leadership, the initial concept utilizes precast concrete, metal panels, and glass, all three of which are experienced as you enter the building from 27th Street. Welcome to Cedar Falls High School. Students, staff, and visitors are greeted by the main entrance. These doors will be secured after school starts. During the school day, visitors will enter through the main office where they will pass through security by the receptionist. The front entry serves as an invitation to the public and greets them with primary community spaces at the front of the building. The theater, gymnasium, and a multi-purpose community meeting room are strategically placed for ease of access. These spaces will display the story of Cedar Falls past and present. Hall of Fame walls will highlight all student successes, including academic, athletic, and arts. The new gymnasium can be divided or open for large events. Natural daylight will spill into the space from filtered windows above. Gymnasium space provides direct access to strength and conditioning space, as well as wrestling to enhance supervision. The multi-purpose community meeting room will display the history of Cedar Falls. This will function as a film room, all staff meeting space, classroom, and space for the community. Restrooms are centrally located throughout the building and will include single-use restrooms for inclusivity. The centralized building leadership and college and career readiness center are combined into a one-stop student services core. We are now entering the centrally located multi-purpose commons. This space is designed for flexibility and will serve as the social hub of the building as well as community use. Windows throughout the building provide abundant views to the courtyard. Exposure to nature in an education environment is proven to create for focused, healthier, and less stressed students and staff. Family and consumer science and art studios are located along the East Wing. A direct connection to the Student Success Center provides a warm welcome to all students. Here you can see the cafeteria Cerberi, which will efficiently serve all students. Career and technical education labs are located along the west wing adjacent to the loading areas. The overall structure of the building plans for flexibility to adapt to future instructional practices and learning opportunities even in these spaces. Furniture in the Commons will provide a variety of seating including small group and large group gathering spaces and will be inclusive to all students. Elevators are centrally located throughout the building and barrier-free design is implemented within the entire school. 
This innovation hub will provide space for a small group tech collaboration, ideation, and pitching ideas. This will be space for all to use. Functions to include presentations, small music ensemble, team and staff meetings, and study space to name a few. Creating safe environments for students through controlled entrances, technology, space compartmentalization, and storm shelters were at the top of the community needs identified. Entry into the learning communities are secure zones and can be quickly shut down for security purposes. There are four academic wings that are subdivided into two levels. These are called learning communities. While the new school is over 30% bigger than the existing, creation of four more intimate and personal learning communities are developed to connect students and staff in a more adaptable, engaging, and transparent environment. Here you can see a bridge connection from the engineering labs to the learning community. Spaces become more private and focused as you progress deeper into the core learning community. We are planning for an academic future that is unknown and are providing as much flexibility and adaptability as possible. Each learning community will have a co-learning space as shown here where teachers can open up their space as desired. Classrooms put learning on display. Transparency can be altered to meet the needs of the day. Windows into classrooms will receive vinyl window graphics that will support focused learning. Teacher collaboration and individual work zones are centrally located. No matter the space, natural daylight and views to the outdoors have been evaluated and implemented throughout the entire building, providing daylighting for all. Learning communities are connected vertically. Collaboration spaces such as these serve as a place for students to study, collaborate, and spend time on campus during power hour. A focus on public and collaborative areas have been explored and strategically placed towards the entry of the learning community. Utilization of principles of universal design for learning have been implemented to minimize barriers and maximize learning. We will ensure this design benefits everyone. Special needs classrooms are distributed within all learning communities. Courtyards will serve as an outdoor learning lab and are secure to the building. Areas of outdoor learning have been shown to increase attention and retention of information and reduce disciplinary incidents. Outdoor furniture will include benches and tables and chairs to support outdoor learning activities and events. Central courtyards adjacent to academic areas respond to research, showing the significant impact of careful daylighting and views to the outdoors. Collaborations with Cedar Falls Utilities are being pursued to provide significant sustainable energy on the site. Spaces like these will give students a reason to stay on campus and create for powerful learning opportunities. We are now entering the Media Center. Students asked for a variety of spaces where they could get away to do more focused work. The Media Center is centrally located between the learning communities and provides a quieter zone with great views and access to the courtyard. A cafe, coined the Tiger's Den, is centrally located between the learning communities and will be a student-run operation. We know that 21st century learning is constantly evolving and changing. This community building is truly centered around student learning, staff development and recruitment, efficiency, durability, accessibility, and flexibility for the years to come. We are striving to create spaces that inspire creativity, promote collaboration, and enhance the experience for every Cedar Falls student. 
As this design continues to evolve, we really invite you to join us at Community Forums as we continue the conversation about the future of this important community resource.